Ladies, thank you so much for coming and on time. I truly appreciate your punctuality. So uh, apparently you got the memo. So why don't you sit right over there, get comfortable on the couch because we are long overdue for this little chat. Couple things I wanna get out of the way. First and foremost, this is not a misogynistic video. There's nothing misogynistical about me. My actual personal belief about women, if you want me to try to like get it out of the way real quick, is that the majority of the world's problems revolve around a universal lack of respect for women. And that trickles down to everything, including how we treat the planet, and that's just my own theory about women. So this is not a misogynistic video is what I'm trying to say. So if you hate women, if you got misogynistic point of views, keep them out of the comments. I'm not here for it. The other thing I want to say is this video is also not saying that straight women don't belong in gay clubs. Uh, quite the opposite. One thing that I love about DJing in LA compared to New York is it's actually more mixed, at least in West Hollywood, than the places I used to DJ in New York. And uh, I love that. I love it when all types of people, gay, straight, male, female, non-binary, whatever, come together for the music. I love that. Plus, I completely understand how women are in a situation in which when they want to go to a club and they just want to have fun with their friends and shake their ass, but don't want to have to deal with the bullshit that comes with dealing with uh, straight guys with a superiority complex or straight guys that feel like they have the right to rub up on them or can't take no for an answer. They don't want to deal with that. They just want to go to a gay club where they know they can have fun, let loose, be free. I totally get it. And gay clubs are there for that. So you might be thinking, well, how many straight girls actually show up to gay clubs? You know, so I actually made a graph for you. On a typical Saturday night in West Hollywood, there are 79% gay men. Uh, straight women, including cis and trans, there's 18%. Straight guys who are there typically to try to hook up with the straight women and don't want any competition is 1% and 2% lesbians. This is the demographic in West Hollywood on a Saturday night. It's a fact. If you don't believe me, look it up. I didn't. So I'm fine if more straight women come to the club. I want to try to explain my problem. Let me just tell you what happened to me last week. Okay, so last week I'm DJing at High Tops. Now, I, I actually have a picture of it. I'll show you. So when I DJ, there's about two and a half feet between me and the crowd. Uh, I usually have a little bit of a barrier there. And to my right, I have my drink, I have my gum, and I have my vape. Now, I know vaping is bad. I'm trying to quit. I quit for like the fifth time in two weeks. I'm quitting right now. So I am trying to quit. Let me get that out of the way. So I'm DJing, right? Now, the most vulnerable position that I am in, in which I can't really do anything, is when I'm mixing a song. And you gotta turn down the bass one, turn up the bass the other, make sure the beat matches. So I'm kind of like DJing like this, as you can see from the picture. Now, I remember exactly what I was mixing. I was mixing a Jax Jones song into the A. Cray song, Do It To It. And I'm DJing like this. And this girl walks right up to me, staring right at me. Gorgeous girl, be 10, de like beautiful girl. Total dime, definitely. Beautiful girl, can't take that away from her. She comes right up to me and she's with her gay friend and her another girl. She looks right at me, so I'm assuming that she wants to request a song. So I'm doing this and I just nod at her so she knows that I acknowledge her and I'll get to her as soon as I'm done mixing the song. I'm mixing the song and this takes about 25 to 30 seconds from when I start mixing to when I end it, particularly for these two songs. So I'm mixing and my hands are on the knobs. She picks up my vape and takes a hit. I'm getting triggered already. Okay, she picks up my vape and takes a hit. She then passes it to her friend. Her friend, the girl, she takes a hit. And I'm like, I can't, I'm like, can I, not, can I not even believe that this is happening? I'm mixing the song. She then takes it back from her friend, looks me dead in the eye, takes another pull off my vape, and then she puts it down. I really wanted to take that drink and throw it right in her face. I, I, I felt compelled and I felt I had the right, but I know that <clears throat> that is categorized as assault probably. <laughs> and uh, But I did feel that uh, that would have been justified if I threw my entire drink in her face. I didn't do that. I did have some choice words for her. I did tell her to get the f out. And uh, she kind of just laughed in my face and skipped along. 
I didn't have a mic, couldn't call security. But that's not the only time it happened. Let me give you another example, okay? St. Patrick's Day, I'm DJing downtown. The DJ booth is like, just like a step off the ground. You could actually like step in, stand right next to me when I'm DJing. And I knew it was St. Patrick's Day, I remember exactly what I was wearing. I was, I was wearing green basketball shorts, and a Celtics tank top. So I'm DJing, and it's almost like when girls wanna do something funny or anyone, but like they know my most vulnerable moment is when I'm mixing and all. It always happens around this time. So I'm DJing this girl, gorgeous, always a gorgeous girl, comes right up to the DJ booth, stands next to me. So I'm thinking she wants to request a song. Okay, fine. I give her the nod. I'm turning down the bass, turning up the bass. So then she's, she's standing right next to me. We're both facing the crowd. All of a sudden, no lie. She pulls down my shorts. Just pulls down my shorts. So here I am, because I won't interrupt the integrity of a mix. Does it, so someone could throw eggs in my face. I would keep mixing. I'm not gonna fuck up a mix. So I'm, and I was like, so there I am DJing, mixing a track in my underwear with my shorts around my ankles. Ooh, just bringing it back to me, like how much, how violated I felt. I mean, can, first, can you imagine if that was a guy and he did that to a girl? Same thing. I felt the same way. I, 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 I couldn't even believe that that happened to me. And uh, she giggled and skipped along, same thing. So I did have a mic that time. So I, I, I turned off the music, I was so angry. I, I got on the mic, I told security, I'm like, that girl right there, get the f out, get her out. Uh, he started escorting her out, I played Hit the Road Jack, people started singing it, but then she like weaseled her way out of his arms or whatever, however he was like escorting her out and she ran to the bathroom locked herself in the bathroom and refused to leave until the owner was like bitch I have a key <laughs> got her out one other time I'm gonna talk about I actually have footage of it I'm gonna show you um I put this on my TikTok before I was DJing at Revolver and like a lot of people do that work at parties and DJ parties they go out and they like film the crowd so they can put it on their Instagram or their TikTok or whatever so I left the DJ booth and I'm making I'm just like filming the crowd and this girl it's always a beautiful girl, always a beautiful straight girl. So I'm just like filming, you know, getting a view of the crowd. She comes over, smacks my phone out of my hand. And uh, that's actually the girl that's in my thumbnail. So if you see her, she actually owes me $200 because I had to pay $200 to get that phone. It got cracked. I didn't notice it until I got home, but it got cracked on top. <laughs> Look how triggered I'm getting. It's always a straight girl. Now, the first thing you might be thinking is, well, Cass, well, how do you know they're straight? They could have been lesbians. They weren't lesbians. You know how I know? Because lesbians know what the f*** is up. I've never seen a lesbian step to me with any buffoonery. Lesbians always have it together. As a matter of fact, I can count on a lesbian to have my back quicker than some drunk gay guy, without a doubt. I, so I'm talking to my friends about this, and I'm thinking, why is it that straight women... But in, I don't think it's a coincidence that they're all gorgeous either, okay? They go to a gay club, and they have this sense of entitlement, but entitlement isn't the, the word. I mean, that's that's an ingredient to what's happening here. So I was talking to like Peppermint about it. Uh, she, you know, she's obviously worked in uh, clubs as long as I have. I worked in gay and straight clubs, uh, mostly gay. So I've talked to other DJs about it. The word that encapsulates it the most is this feeling that these girls have is a sense of invincibility. And I blame straight clubs, and I'm gonna tell you why. Straight clubs need girls. They need girls, that's why for girls they drink for free until midnight, or no cover for girls, or girls free till 1 a.m., whatever. They need girls because the men, the straight guys, they spend the money because they wanna show off. They wanna show off their money, that's why if there's a lot of girls there, particularly very pretty girls, they'll buy bottles, they'll buy drinks, they're buying drinks for girls. So the more girls that are there, the more the men spend the money. Straight clubs need girls. If they don't have girls, it turns into a sausage party and the party will last like two weeks max. They need girls. Gay clubs, they don't need you. No shade, it's just a fact. They don't need you. If you don't show up, we're gonna survive. We will be fine. We will be fine. We love you. We love when you come and have a good time. We love, you know, when you come, you spend your money and you're nice to everyone and, you know, you bring the fashion, you bring the looks, you bring the positive energy. I love it. But this sense of invincibility that you have, that you 
bring over from the straight atmosphere, from the straight club, don't bring it here because it doesn't work. I've worked in straight clubs, I've worked in big straight clubs, and I see it all the time. Pr a group of pretty girls comes in, the security guard lets them right in. You girls need drinks? Here's your drinks. Guys come up to you, do you guys, can I, can I meet your friend? Can I, do you guys need drinks? Here's your drink. Do you want to go meet the DJ? Do you, do you want to come into VIP? Especially like gorgeous girls, you're treated like gold in a straight club. I see it happen and I think that you have this sense of, I don't know what's celebrity, it's definitely entitlement, which is, is understandable when you're treated extra special at a straight club. You might feel that you can get away with it in a gay club and I'm telling you that you can't. So I want to invite you to come to gay clubs, come to where I DJ, but just understand that the gays rule the school. You are now entering an environment that gay men created so we could get away from straight people for a while. Do you get that? Like, especially, you know, I'm Generation X, you know, I grew up straight people everywhere. You don't see, you didn't see gay people on the cover of magazines. You didn't see gay people on, on uh, Channel 7 News. Dude, you didn't see out gay people on MTV. Like, you know, the, the, the gay clubs were created so gay men could go someplace where they could feel that they could be themselves. And we invite anybody that wants to come out and uh, f have that sense of freedom with us. And I'm inviting you to come too. But leave this bullshit at home and just know that you can get away with things like that in a straight club and a straight guy won't do anything. Gay guys won't tolerate it. So straight girls, I'm telling you this with love. And I think that most of you already get it. Show up to have a good time and be respectful. And uh, straight girls, I hope you learned something. Let me know your thoughts below. I definitely wanna know if you work in clubs, if you have any other experience like this. And straight girls, I welcome you. Come on in. And I hope to see you tonight. I'll be DJing in high tops. Big kiss.